Now, Michael, um, what were you suffering from? Uh, hearing loss. And how long was that a problem? About 12 years now. And what happened 12 years ago to your hearing? Well, I come from North Queensland and every time there's a cyclone there, you challenge yourself of going for a swim in the ocean. And I was on the Gold Coast and a cyclone wasn't coming through, so I thought I'd do the same. Uh, anyone watching this video, I am telling you, do not do that. <laughs> when, when the red flag is out, stay off the beach, it'll kill you. Which, uh, a, a wave hit me and hit, hit, hit my ear and, and I messed it up. And so what happened, what was the damage to your ear and your hearing? Well, it, it was just, a, just a, a little bit of water on the ear. But, but I had never had an ear problem in my entire life and I, I'd lived 15 metres away from the high water market Cape Edgecombe. Never had a problem with the ear infection. I'd seen ear infections around me, but I'd never had one personally, so I didn't know how to manage it. And uh, I, I went to sit, see the doctor and he said, oh, that's, that's okay, it's nothing. A, a, and then the, the infection set in and I took the course of antibiotics. But with the ear, it, it doesn't heal as fast as, as in anything else. Sometimes you have to take two courses and I didn't quite understand that. So I just let it go and it got worse and worse and worse and got to the stage where I had to see a specialist and this specialist was having a bad hair day and uh, he, he, he made a mistake and, and he poked, punched something, jabbed something that he shouldn't, shouldn't have jabbed and from there it just, just got, got so much worse. It, it got... Sorry, miss. So your, your infection just got worse? Got worse and worse and worse. And, that, uh, did you, and also your wife mentioned you had some operations to remove some of the infected well, area? It, it, it got so worse that, that she was praying on, on me one night, and this is about five years later, and she said, I, I think you're really sick. And I, I didn't really feel really sick, but I, I've heard her speak like this before. I thought, well, I'll, I will go and check, check it out because, you know, to keep her quiet, if nothing else. Mm. And I did. And uh, they, they did a, one of those MRI scans of my head. And it turned out that when you have continual ear infections, you, you get some skin around the bone that, that is damaged from the infection. And that skin isn't cancer, but it has a characteristic of cancer in, in that it's out of control. And it, it grows through and it'll actually penetrate the bone into your head and kill you when it gets to your brain. So, so to fix that, it's pretty easy. You uh, cut the ear off, you, you dig a big hole in the skull, and you strip out those damaged bones. A and that's what I have had to have happen. But when they got, got in there, that they realised the eardrum was a mess and, and they lost the eardrum. So and you then couldn't hear out of that ear? Uh, well, you can't hear as well because the hearing parts are still intact, but the, the forced line doesn't get to, to it as it should. So what was your hearing like then? Before? Pretty bad. <laughs> and so what happened tonight when John prayed for you? Well, the the I've, I've since had a false eardrum put in, but these guys can only do some, so much, thank God for, for them, and uh, he got most of it except the big hole in the middle. And when the eardrum's not not intact with bone is missing, you, you can't hear much at all. And and now, and, and you can always feel because if you blow your nose, rather than that system holding air, that would pass air. But now the system pressurises. So I can tell you right now that 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 is, there's something, it's sealed. Whatever hole was there, it's it's sealed, it's holding air, which is just a mate, an amazing, amazing thing because once that hole's there, if you don't shower right or if you go for a swim and it gets wet, you've got an ear infection and it's just terrible. So when you sort of decompress your nose now, rather than the air going straight, straight out that through, you could feel, yeah, you can feel it's holding it holds, yeah, it holds. like a normal ear. It holds, it holds like a normal ear and, and uh, uh, my hearing has gone up. I, I, I can hear like mobile phone beeps now and, and I, I can hear a com conversation so I, I don't know if that, that's just because the eardrum's there or, or because those, those little bones have come back. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'm, you know the only way I can tell is get an x-ray MRI mm -hmm. but I, I to tell you if I'm, I'm more than happy with, <laughs> with the result at the moment mm -hmm. you know I, I, if the bones aren't if, if the bones aren't there, that they can put like a false false leg in, and mm -hmm. they have to cut your ear off again and put mm. a false leg in. And I tell you, I won't get that done because the the, the ear is sealed, and, and if there there aren't bones there, I don't care because I can hear really mm -hmm. well. I, I can I can do what I have to do, and and that's that's just good. And and uh, 
aren't you glad that there's healing evangelists out there? I know I am. And Michael, we have your permission to put this on our YouTube channel. Of course. Thank you.